I think we'll go ahead and go. Uh, I know a lot of you know me, but uh, my name is Dave Ellis, and I'm kind of the moderator for this group. And welcome to our second session of our Memories of JCCC. And uh, it's, it's good to see everybody here. All right, we are ready to go. Anyway, welcome to the second session of our Memories group. Uh, we had several of you uh, last time said, let's have this group again. So we decided to do that as a, as a board. And uh, we've got a new twist though to this one that we're gonna be showing you pictures during our discussion. And we hope these pictures will start, you know, generating some more discussion while we're doing this. And thanks to John Russell mm -hmm. you know, from the library, he put those pictures together for us. And those pictures are from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and some early 2000s, okay? And um, so just this uh, again, remind you of some of the rules. Uh, if you are speaking, uh, try maybe not to speak more than five minutes if you can. And uh, we always, again, want really positive comments if you don't mind doing that. And uh, by the way, if you're not speaking, why don't you go ahead and make sure you mute yourself if you're not doing that. The little bit of difficulty might be a little bit is that once John puts the pictures up, a lot of us will be on the side, but we won't be able to see everybody. So you might want to, when you, when you start talking, just kind of identify yourself and who you are, uh, just so we kind of know how to, how to do that. Um, so, uh, and feel free to ask questions. Whoever you know, is doing the talking, feel free to ask questions. Jonathan Bacon, and John Russell and I looked at these pictures and there's a lot of people we don't know in the pictures, but I'm sure a lot of you do know them. And uh, feel free to say some comments about about them and again, positive comments if you don't mind. And uh, so I think if there's any any questions before we go on, I think we're ready to go. Anybody have any questions? Okay, good to see you all. John, let's go ahead and put that first screen up for me, please. Okay, I think we can go ahead and go to that first picture. 1970s. Anybody know who this is? Well, Billington, maybe. Okay. No. No. Definitely not. They Probably recognize the, the structure. Recognize, the recognize the farm. You recognize the structure? I wonder. It's the owner of the farm. Hey, Hugh Spear. It's the owner of the farm. Yeah, that's what I'd say too. I've got his name in the book. I, that's Goodberry, or uh, I can't remember exactly, but that's the guy who owned the farm. That's what I thought. He he was he farmed he raised corn on that place where the college is now. Well, he was famous for his orchards. There was an orchard there that was uh, several orchards. And that's the that's the barn that's out there right now, right, Chuck? Yes. That's the original the barn that's still on campus. Yeah. By the horticulture center. Okay. Just uh, for a point of information, the gentleman's name is Raymond Goodlow. Oh, okay. <clears throat> wow. Good. Okay. Hmm. So that's probably one of the earlier pictures we've got, John, right? Um, yeah, it's probably, I think, 72, 73, someplace okay. uh, in there. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be that late. It's got to no, be. It's, it's in the late 60s. Yeah. It's got to be before the 70s. Yeah, it was there before the breaking of the ground for this college started. So it'd be which was which was and that was 70 what 71 wasn't it, Chuck? When it broke right. around? Yeah, the well on the yeah uh, 70. 70, yeah, uh, I bet. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead to the next one, Jonathan. He's not dressed like a farmer. No, he's not. <laughs> Was the barn moved or is it in the same place as it was in the picture? Same place. So, okay. Thank you. All right. Anybody know what this is? Well, huh. well it's the commons. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I think I see the main lawn work in Virginia Krebs down in the lower left. That looks like the dedication, probably. That's what I'd say. This is looking north, I would say. Mm -hmm. right. What would be the, the day of the dedication, I'm guessing. I didn't get I didn't go that day, but 
based on what's there and not there. I would say that's the day of the dedication. Looks like a marching band. Yeah, it's either Shawnee Mission Northwest or Shawnee Mission North. Um, one of the both bands were participating uh, in that dedication. It was September 24th, 72. And John, can you explain what that dedication was again, please? That was a dedication of the college. Dedication of the college. And okay. if you notice in the background, the Commons building is still under construction. We opened that building the uh, the next year, or or maybe second semester of the first year out there. I can't remember which. Yeah, that'd be about right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, yeah, wasn't finished. No. Chuck, I think you're off. You're I'm, you're mute. You're muted, Chuck. <laughs> Uh -oh. Dave, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you were talking, weren't you, Chuck? I just said it. It gets right. It what building wasn't open the first semester? Okay. Good. It was open by second semester. Of course, Dick was right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't forgotten. Uh, 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 <laughs> that'll start a discussion. Yes, let's get that going. <laughs> Argument, <All right>. maybe. <laughs> any any other comments on this picture? Uh, Anybody else? <clears throat> These next pictures, you'll start seeing people that you'll know. So, all right, let's go with that next one, Jonathan. Oh. Anybody know what room this is? It's the yes, sunflower room. Yeah. The sunflower room. Oh, it's the uh, the sunflower room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Third floor. Woman uh, on the left hand side, long hair is Keith Eaton. She was the vice president. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's Judith. Um, like that is Cleek with his head and the back of his head. Is it, that's Hugh, isn't it? They, they barely see his uh, nose and chin on the left. Hugh's mm -hmm. beard. Yeah, little beard. It looks like his chin beard. I think that's Stu Schaefer, isn't it? With the mustache and the longer hair. <laughs> Who would it be? Stu Schaefer. Boy, I don't think so. You don't? Um, Anybody know who the curly hair guy is um, on the right hand side? Is that Phil Wegman, maybe? Uh, no, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's one of the board of trustees members. This picture was taken in um, uh, February of about 77. 77, yeah. And the gentleman, which you can barely see part of his profile on the very extreme left, uh, Hugh Spear. Yeah. That's you, that's well, your spear, isn't it? Okay. I think the sunflower room has been converted now and it's no longer a dining room. Oh, bummer. Yeah. I've had many meetings in there during my time at the college, many. Mm -hmm. All the time that we met at the college for the first, what, 10 years? We met in this room. Mm -hmm. well, there, you know, I, I came to the college in July 77 and of course met to have beaten and uh, John Cleek and uh, Keith Evans was the other vice president at the time, if I remember right. Uh, the thing that strikes me about this, this picture is the uh, up-to-date technology that's in the background. <laughs> Carousel slide projector and screen uh, off to the right. Yeah. That was, that was hot stuff. I think to the right here is Harold Finch and then there's John Price, I believe, at the very end. Definitely Harold Finch looking to his left. Yep. He was he was a very famous person. I don't know if people knew that. Mm -hmm. He was uh, he was involved in creating, I want to say, uh, gyroscope uh, for space flight. Oh. Oh. And he and he lived in Mission Hills because of it. Huh. Mm. Good. What was his position at the college at that time? 
institutional research. Really? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Anything else on that picture? Now, the guy with uh, the gentleman with the curly hair uh, is one of the board of trustees member, and his name escapes me right off the moment. But um... all right, let's go on to the next one, Jonathan. Ooh. <laughs> all right, Denny. We all know and love him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the necklace. It looks dangerous, <laughs> doesn't he? He does. <laughs> he was. <laughs> the EMT department did a lot of United Way. Now that's when he was trying out for being movie extra. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He God did was. do that. That doesn't yeah. surprise me. <laughs> what movie was that, Chuck? Do you know? He was in several. He was he? Yep. I think he's just. Sometimes they come back too. <laughs> Just ask him. I'm sure he's got the credits somewhere on his wall. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. It's kind Maybe. of a John Travolta wannabe. <laughs> John Travolta. <laughs> anybody I know I, when uh, Denny started at the college? Anybody have any idea? Um, probably early 80s, 79 or 80. Okay. Probably, yeah. yeah. Okay. This gentleman wrote a history of the college, Chuck Bishop. There's a book, a nice thick book on the history. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to make comments about Denny? <laughs> <laughs> Not here to defend himself. I, yeah. positive, I wish he was here. He could tell us. Okay, let's go on to the next one, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, my. That's Tim Barnhart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Is that? Tim Barnhart yeah. in, in graphics. Yeah. Oh. I can't remember the woman. The I think her name is Janet Tracy. What? Uh, Janet Tracy. Huh. Yeah. She worked there part-time, as I recall, and then I think Tim said she... Uh, I joined the graphic staff as a full time, yeah. <laughs> probably mid 70s. Dang. Tim is still there, too. Tim's still at the college. Yes. I think that last is all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to make 50 years for sure. Yeah. And that was pretty much the style back in the 70s, wasn't it? When I was in high school in the 70s, I know that long oh, yeah. hair and mustache. And, yep. Yeah. Now, speaking. Speaking of Tim Barnhart, um, I got a, uh, an email several days ago through the third hand passed around to college and it came to me. Uh, but it was a woman in Kentucky who said that her mother uh, worked for the college between Merriam and the, uh, the new campus. And her mother was a um, supervisor in graphic design. Uh, it turns out that her mother was a woman by the name of Dorothy Purington. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And she had, you know, some old college documents that she did the graphics work on. Uh, she wanted to know if we wanted them. And I said, oh, yeah. And I happened to mention, I said, well, there's probably, I, I didn't know her mother because I came several years after that. But I did mention to the uh, woman I spoke to on the phone in Kentucky, and I said, oh, there's at least one person on the staff who worked with your mother, namely Tim. And so I told Tim uh, last week about this encounter. He said, yeah. He said, if you can find out where she is, he'd like to send her a note. Uh, so I got back to the uh, to the woman in Kentucky, the daughter, and I said, you know, kind of gently, I said, would your mother still be alive? And she said, yeah, she's living in a retirement home down in Camdenton, Missouri. So she's probably 90 or 91. Huh. But she remembered Tim and she said, you know, I would love to hear from him. So I don't know whether Tim's going to send her a note or not, but. Anyway, good. nice story. That'd be nice. It is a good story. Yeah, great. 
All right. That this location, that and location of the graphics, the third floor of, um, of the library, isn't it? Billington? Mm -hmm. oh, no, that's it. Hmm? No, no, the two workers. This is Tim, and that's the co-worker. I don't know who she is. Hey, uh, Betty, uh, really quickly, I don't know if you know, but we can hear everything you're saying, and if that's okay. But, oh. uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. No, that's great. It's good. The comments are good. All right. How about if we go on the next picture? 1980s. All right. Oh, Elaine, you Elaine Tatum. Oh, Elaine, yeah. Elaine Tatum. Dr. Spear. Dr. Spear. Yeah. And can you guys explain who Elaine Tatum is, please? I should know, but I don't know. She was an assistant dean, wasn't she? No, she was just institutional research. Uh -huh. Research. Oh. Informed her the director after Harold Finch yeah. Yeah. stepped down. Okay. Oh, she's president of ETC Consulting out of uh, Olathe. Hmm. I thought, did she not pass away a few years ago, no. or am I mistaken? I think she did. I think she did, too. Mm -hmm. I think. I think Dana's trying to say something. Dana, will you, will you say something again, please? A few years ago, but she did. When she left the college, she formed, she and her husband formed their own research firm, ETC, and did a lot of work for the college and the county. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, logo in the back, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good looking logo. That's a sunflower room picture, too, I think. Mm -hmm. I know that door well. <laughs> I refuse to wear blue and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, All right, John, let's go on the next one. Oh, I know him. Charles him. Turkey. That's oh, um, Turkey. Ann Schwartz. Yes. Marbury. And Ann. Linda. Yeah. Linda Swander. Oaks. Yep. Yep. Yes. Okay. Wait, keep it there. I'm going to take a picture of this and sh share it with Linda. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, who's that, who's the person with their, their back to us, please? It's Al Kirky. Oh, Al Kirky, yeah. okay. I, he was gone yep. before he got there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I don't know if people are aware, but Sue Kirky just passed away. Oh. 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 Who did? Sue Kirky. Al's wife. That's Al's wife. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. The woman on the far right, is, yeah. is that Carolyn Norberg? I think so. Is, so that was my sister? first reaction, Carolyn. Oh. I think who, it's her. And who is Carolyn Norberg, please? She started, she did a lot of the articulation work. I, I think she was working, she was in counseling, and so oh. the sheets, uh, she was one of the first people that was working. <clears throat> yep, I remember. She was working 20 hours a week uh, mm -hmm. and doing all the articulation agreements with all the colleges and universities that students would transfer to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, what year was this? Well, uh, there. 1982 to 84. Really, really. Really. That sounds about right. 1981. Thank, yeah. 1981. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's his first year then, right after he got there. Yeah, right. Oh. He, uh, spring 81. I came in fall of 80 and mm -hmm. he came in spring of 81. Yeah. And that was sort of the uh, welcoming party or the welcoming reception for Dr. Carlson. <laughs> it's neat. Good. Okay, anything else? Schwartz was in counseling the whole time she was at the college, right? No. Oh, oh Anne was hired as a testing assistant for yeah. worked with ah. me for a number of years before she went and moved over to counseling. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready All to right. move on, Dave? Yeah, let's go move on to the next one. Oh, oh my. Dean Hard. We're in a wind. Tire. Who's the guy in the middle? Dick. Jean Jack. Jean Jack, Alan. I don't know him. 
Okay, yeah. he's science. Our chemistry, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's he's chemistry. Yeah. He's the guy that this Keep is what he's the guy that hired me in wow. '88. Okay, really. Gene yeah. may have been teaching at Shawnee Mission North same time I was. I think him and Gene. I think Gene Jack, Max Dawson, and Marion Teal all started up there. Uh, yeah, I think he, have, he looks like he's got a wig too. Does he? No. <laughs> no. Got a wig? Oh, okay. Sure looks like it. Al Mettenberg on the right. Okay. Oh, that is Al. <laughs> yeah. He's and happy. Al, and Al Mettenberg was the head of the police academy. Is that correct? Um, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, he was one of two instructors in the police before there was a police academy. Yeah. Jim yeah. Browning and Al Mettenberg. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. I think we'll go on. Yep. Well, I know her. Yeah. Tom. Tom Burnett. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is Tom Burnett. Yep. Walt Klarner right behind him. Really? What is... In the back. In the back. Oh, yeah. Back in yeah, the... yeah. Cody, Cody, is that Cody Copeland? Cody's yeah, in the middle. It looks like it. Cody, right in the middle. And then Mark Mark Margaret Curry. from the gym. Art, uh, there's art. It's like the psyche. Like did you change the picture? We did. Can you see uh, Tom Barnett and getting a plaque from Chuck Carlson? Right. He must be retiring, right, Tom? Mm, no, he didn't retire for a long time after. Yeah, he was retiring then. Oh. Yeah, well, Art's Chuck's, still in giving, the Chuck's giving him a plaque. Mm -hmm. Did Did you say, John, it was a de uh, distinguished service? No, yeah, this was um, that would have been the dedication of the OCB building. Oh, uh, no, too. Part of the part of the um, different activities that took place during that week. Hmm. If you all know Bob Perry, he's way in the back behind Carlson yeah. there. Yeah. 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 And Jim. Jim Vomhoff is way off to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Bryson. Sue Bryson and Joan. Um, uh, yeah. Joan Carney. Carney. Yeah. Where's Carney? Margaret. Right there. Behind Dr. Carlson. You can just see her with the cup of coffee. Oh. That's a good eye, Dana. That's, well, I think Walt Clarn is back there, but is that him back by the door? Yes. yes, back behind. Yeah, he's back there in that little alcove. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Who's the woman back here in the middle? And not the one who's got her head's eyes down, but the one beside her. Right here. That's the secretary for the physical education department. Oh, uh, Margaret Howe. Margaret, Margaret, yeah. mm -hmm. oh. Margaret. Yeah, Margaret Howe. Yes, Margaret. Uh, wow. Here's the Margaret. Right in the middle of the Right in the middle, right behind, right in the smack in the middle, looking the other way. Um, That's Art. Art Hammond. Yep. Um, right Art Hammond, I think was yep. his name. Yep. Yep. Art, Art Hammond. Hammond. Yep. Okay. I can't wow. remember the woman right next to him. She's That's fun. Her, but I can't remember her name. Man. I think Lana Stites is back there, but you only see half of her on the left. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That is her. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who, who's that? Who's on the far right? The woman. She looks familiar, but I can't pick and get a name. I lost my picture. I still hear him talking. Okay, let's go on to the next picture. <laughs> oh, Peggy. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Peggy. Yeah, that was the coffee. <laughs> oh, and BP. And BP. Thank you, Carolyn Neptune. Yes. Yep. I know who that is. Wow. On the right, Carolyn Neptune. Yes, you're right. Yeah. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Way in the back. Yep. Hey, Dana, this is Dave. Do you think that person next to uh, Peggy is uh, Sally Sane who worked in the counseling center? Do you remember no, her? person by Peggy, that's uh, B. Peak. Oh, that B. Yeah. That's, that's B. Yep. 
That's long time right. ago. It's been a, it's a very long time ago, but yeah, that's B. That's right. I, my guess is that uh, on the left hand side, facing away from us, is Scott Jurgen. Uh -huh, the so center too. is Nan Wilson, just based on hairstyles in the back of their heads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And back by by Jim Bonhoff, is that Gene Hahn? No, it's Jerry Vincent. Jerry Vincent. Jerry Vincent. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, isn't Hi. that Radagovich in the back? He's in it by itself. I don't know. I don't know. Jim Jim Who Bonhoff the big, again. Peggy. Who's the primary person here again? Peggy, Peggy, Denton. Denton. Peggy Denton. Oh, I don't know. Her husband passed away uh, early last year. I'm I'm yes. I'm you taught learning strategies of Alan is what her right. area is in. Thank you. Yep. I think she's finishing drinking coffee. What? <laughs> hey, hey, John, what was this for again, please? Remember? What was, what was the occasion? Um, Wasn't this a tea, a holiday tea? Oh, okay. Yeah. I might have been. I don't. Huh. It's in the old staff lounge. It was back when there weren't so many people. Yeah. The staff, the staff lounge. And the first floor of the commons? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Is, okay, uh, Jonathan. That bulletin board's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to retire it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. This is There's a great, a great picture. There's a great group. I know Bonnet's in there beside mm -hmm. Sequoia. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dave, can you go through and name everybody? Who, me? You or Chuck? Uh, no, I know Sonny Maynard there and uh, Jim Jackson Paul, in the back. Jim Jack, you know, Krebs back there. Bill, Barnett. Bill Lozano. I see Jack Hannington on the far upper right. Yeah. Um, Bell's in the back. Jack. Jack, oh. Jim. Gene Jack next Jack. to him. Yeah. Fred yeah. Krebs Frizzell. next to him. Bob Frizzell. Barnett next to him. Jim Jackson. Wow. Randall. Richard Randolph there. Randolph. Uh, yeah. The guy Randolph. in the dark suit in the back row, uh, security. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Yeah. Every time I saw Bob Frizzell, no matter what day it was, he said, yeah. How are you, Bob? He says, Okay for Monday, no matter if it's a Friday or Thursday. <laughs> so he says, Okay yeah, for Monday. <laughs> they named an award after him at the college. Mm -hmm. It would have been a welcome reward, I suspect. It was he, for, yeah. He met everybody coming on campus yeah. graciously. Yeah, he did. He did. There are a lot of stories about him picking up people in his little cart on snowy <laughs> days and driving them in. All the I was one of them. Yeah. Earl Sneed on the far left front row. Yeah. Far yeah. That's, uh, He's uh, still around. Uh, mm. The woman in the middle is funny. Yeah. Mm. All right, Johnson. In the front row, second to the from the right. That was Jim Baumhoff's administrative assistant. Oh, okay. Huh. Adeline. Adeline Johnson. Yep. <coughs> huh. Lena Zore. Okay. Zore. Yeah. How about Sunny? How about Sunny Maynard in the middle? Sunny's yeah, in the middle next to Dane and Jim. Yeah. God, well, you know them all. Who's the guy in the in the tie and the sweater with white sweater there. Who is that? What row? Clarner. Second Green row. Walt 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 Clarner. Clarner. Who? Walt Clarner. Yeah, that's right. English instructor. Oh, man. Okay. You know Bill Spano and Dane Lomberg here, too, don't you? Yeah. 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 Gene yeah. Hahn. Baby Honey. <laughs> was that in the front row? Sure. Is that a dedication again, or is that something else? Do you remember? No. Jack's in the back. Did you say no. Dick Randolph? God. Yeah. Yes. Dick it was a gathering of the original faculty at oh. one of the um, celebrations starting the school year. Yeah. I think it was the 20th, you know, 20th, 20th anniversary uh, yeah. staff. Something, yeah. Great bunch Jack, of when people. Ladies, when ladies wore dresses. Yeah, great bunch, great bunch of people. Oh, yeah. yeah, when ladies were ladies. Mm. Oh, no, oh, come on now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> we know where you live. Dorothy yeah. Wadsworth. Go ahead, Debbie. Wadsworth along the front. Mm -hmm. right yeah. I was going to say, who's between Dorothy Wadsworth and Zoreba Bahani? I, I'm having a hard time remembering her name. 
Gene Howard? Mm -hmm. Gene Howard? Oh, Gene. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Good job, Bill. I think we got uh, them all. Dang. And right next to Carl, is that D uh, Dorothy? Yeah, I Wadsworth. Wadsworth. Yes, Wadsworth. Yeah. Man. Wadsworth. I think he, I think we got them all, guys. I think. I think I heard when them I all. I saw them, they were all older. When I remember that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all, all right, people. Let's, let's go to the next one. Wow. 90s. So. Now we're in the 90s. Oh, well, maybe I'll see somebody I know. Uh, oh, there's Nita and Ed Franklin. Nita McBride and Ed Franklin. Buddy oh, Ramos. Um, but Buddy Ramos. Yeah. Buddy. Yes. Yep. Monica Costader, Linda Dayton. Mary Ellen Masterson. Mary Ellen Masterson, yep. Ed Franklin. I should know that other one next to Mary Ellen. Who is that? Isn't that Mary Jean? Was she the one in charge of interpreting at that time? Yeah, yeah, I no, think, she was an interpreter. I think, I think her name was Mary Ellen. What did, you, what did you say, Dana? I think her name was also Mary Ellen or Mary Lou. It was no, I think it was Mary Ellen. Mary, yeah. Mary, yeah. Ellen. Mary Ellen Masterson is the one with the short curly hair next to London. Right, and she was Mary Ellen also, though. Uh huh. And, okay, so. I like your dress, Lori. Yeah. Cute. I don't know. Look like people are happy for some reason. I wonder why. They're graduating. Looks like graduation. No, I don't like each other. <laughs> well, those are all the student services folks. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that graduation? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Wow. All right. It must Thank have you. been about 91, 92, something of that sort. Mm -hmm. yep. right. Keep going. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh. Super Edison. <laughs> Got a little film for her here. Carolyn Williams. That's right. Have a good time. Do a lot of traveling. Go back to business once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice little. So. He's in a dire position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, brother. <laughs> now, Phil can explain what that's from. Oh, uh, this was. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is from uh, the retirement party we gave to uh, Maggie Jensen, I believe. And every Sue, Sue, uh, I mean, um, I don't know, Valley. Valley Beck. Valley Beck did a recording of all the of, interviewed various people, uh, and very those various people gave a farewell talk to Maggie for her retirement. Huh. Dick looks young. Yeah. All right. Oh my. Who is these are all these, that's counseling. Dana and I should know all these people. Yeah. By the way, the guy with the person with that you can't see their face, that's me, by the way. Where? On the left? My back's turned to you right there. Right there in front. Oh, that's a crew. I started in 89. I think I was a rookie at this time trying to get on full time. And I worked my tail off to get it too. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> there's, Wow. There's Sunny in that bottom right corner. Darwin, is it okay? Yeah, you, you got you got Jeff Anderson way up there on the top of the just to the to the right of Buddy. Right. Can you go through and name them off? Uh, Darwin's down here in the corner with Sunny. Dick is in the middle over here. Dick Belandingham. Belandingham. Who's that next to him? That's Joan Cozyall, I think, if I remember right. She was a... a mm -hmm. I, think I love it. Joan. She, she was, was so funny. <laughs> Mary, Mary Bloom's there. I think uh, Gloria Campbell's there. Yeah. Uh, Harry Parker, if you all remember Harry. Yeah. And uh, Sonny. And I don't know who the, the guy with the long hair is by me, but I don't know who that is. Do you know, Dana? It's not ringing a bell. That's yeah. not looking familiar. Yeah. And the weird thing is that almost looks like Karen over next to Darwin, but she was in our department. So I don't know if she was sitting in as a as the council center as a career center representative or what. Mm. Was she the gal? Was she the gal that did clear? Mm. Uh, I can't think of her name. Can't either. Interesting. Interesting. She looks familiar. Where's that room at with that door right it's there? A, it's, it was a, a conference room that we had in uh -huh. the counseling center itself. 
I see. at that particular okay. time. And then once we started growing in the counseling center, we used that for office. In fact, Dana was in one of those offices. The first office was back by the um, chalkboard and it was where their coffee park pot had been chased at one point. So I had this big green jello stain on the floor from a potluck. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> and you both, you probably know this already, but Virginia and Harry have passed away. You, I probably most seem to know that. But right. Harry Parker's Virginia Freeman. Okay. No, have Dick. Blending him. Dick, yes, thank Dick. you. Oh, that's Chris. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, Jonathan told me he wasn't going to put this in there, but he did anyway. Yeah. <laughs> he, he snuck in there. Well, I'm, maybe I'm I making I thought you said be sure to put it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is your yeah. point here? Yeah. I don't know. My point is, but it's <laughs> laughing at it, whatever it is. So, yeah. anyway. It looks like a finger counting exercise. <laughs> can I'll tell you what, tell that's me? one of the few times I ever wore a tie in the counseling center. I can tell you that for sure. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is. Anybody tell me if Sonny is still with us? He is. He, oh, sure. I think so. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. I had to put this in because it has Chris Downing in there, too. I don't think she was in the other picture. Or at least we didn't no. see her. Yeah, it must have been a different meeting or something, but mm. yeah. Good. Okay. Good. I looked. Those huge glasses of mine are interesting. Okay. <laughs> are you looking coming in group? again? <laughs> yeah. All right. There's Jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that Jack? Jack Elegant. Elegant. Christmas in October. Right. I Who's think. That? Is that Debbie? Yeah, that's Debbie. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's who's on the left? Anybody oh, know? Debbie's on the left. Yeah, Debbie. Uh, uh, yeah. That's Debbie. Betty. She's with Debbie. us today. Anastasio? Hmm. No. The that's lady Mary. on the right is Mary Jo Fourier from Science. Yep. Mary Jo oh, Fourier. Right. Yep. Everybody remember Christmas in October? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that what this was from? Mm hmm. Well, Jack thinks it is. It's been that go on for several years. Well, hey, we started that. Four of us started that. Mm -hmm. And, oh, gosh, I can't even tell you exactly when. But, yeah, we did it for, a little, I don't know, at least 15 years. Yep. Diet Coke, and I don't know what. I've never heard of that other dy dynamic choice. Okay, and so what was Christmas in October? It's it was a, an opportunity to uh, help some downtrodden people who couldn't afford to do anything to their houses, but they needed things done. Yeah, a little bit like Habitat for Humanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. went This was uh, we gosh, uh, we we gathered. I bet we had thirty people uh, some of the years. Yep, yeah. I used to um, go. I did too. It could be anywhere in town, but but it was. Um, a particular location, I mean, a general location um, down along Southwest Boulevard. We were there a couple of times. Kansas City, uh, Kansas? My pardon? Kansas City, Kansas? Uh, yes and no. Uh, it, it didn't matter. The, the, the main organization decided what location we would be at and, and everybody uh, whatever corporations or institutions that, that put together a team, um, we were in, we were on uh, uh, what do you call the the old Polish uh, the Strawberry Hill area two or three times down KCK, um, just anywhere in town that needed help. Needed help, yeah. We we had we had great great. Uh, Great assistance with our uh, staff. Good. I did gutters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I put on ladders and painted. He said she did gutters, Dick. Oh. <laughs> Dick said I was a gutter snipe. That's I true. Think I painted. <laughs> All right, John, let's go on. Oh. Ooh, who's this rebel? Okay, oh, did it. Oh God. <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> yeah. uh, OJ did it. OJ did it, huh? That Are was you? the day that, that uh, the news, they featured that the running man on yeah. top of the, of the building. 
yeah, on the top of the building. And so the, they were taking, they were, they were doing, uh, you know, videos of that, but I, it was like a national news uh, mm -hmm. came out. <laughs> I, I got approached on that one. Some black guy said, some students came up and said, no, that's not cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you and Sandy. <laughs> yeah, that's Sandy. I think most of us probably remember where we were when that verdict was, you know, yes. given out. I remember in the counseling center, we had a TV that was very, very small TV, very small in the corner. And probably 15 or 20 of us got around that TV while we were listening to that verdict. And uh, it was interesting, the reactions that people had at that time. What year? 95. 95. Probably before. Yeah. I don't remember where I was during the verdict, but I remember where I was during the Bronco chase. The Bronco chase, yeah. You know, because it was on the television going to Appleby where my sister and I were eating. Yeah. And, and I was in the traffic during the chase because we were visiting Al and Sue Kirky out in California. That oh, time. is that right? Yep. <laughs> Interesting. We, we didn't know exactly what was going on until we got to back to the Kirkies, though. Yeah. Are what you was in the, Matt, are you in the uh, famous chase scene video anywhere? I have no idea. Spot your car? Could, could be. I have no idea. <laughs> it was just traffic and helicopters. Oh. Okay. And the security <laughs> guard's name is what? Uh, again? Sandy Debbie? Schaefer. Sandy okay. Schaefer. Sandy Schaefer. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Good job, Deb. You look good. <laughs> Barbara Gill. Barbara? Not Barbara. Barbara Gill. Barbara Gill. Yeah. <laughs> I like that picture because it shows the old, uh, the original fitness center. Well, I take it back. That's actually the second fitness center. The one was down in the basement first, then they moved up to that new improved space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Barbara Gill was always so kind, but she was direct. Very much so. <laughs> and she, I mean, if you were doing something right, she would tell you. She's, she was a classic coach. She was, yeah. Yeah. And what did she coach? Uh, Basketball. Basketball. Basketball, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. She's a happy person, though. You can tell just by that smile. Yeah, she's a good lady. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that dude? I think oh. oh my god, Jerry. That's funny. He wants you to think that's his car. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the old car show that we had at one of the picnics. Uh -huh, I believe oh, is that what it was, Helen? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Who's the woman standing on the other side? No idea. I don't know who that it looks is. familiar. You know, Jerry has an expression on his face that says something about, let me show you how to hot wire this car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have to pay people to look like that. I think they oh, teach them that way in the military. Yeah. <laughs> now, is he a K State fan or no? No, K State, care about a K. <laughs> the woman standing oh. in the car is Dan Radakovich's wife. Oh, it yeah. Is. Fuck. Yeah. He nails it, man. He nailed it. it. Is. Yeah. That's true. I only Anybody, know. Who's that behind Dick? Do you see him? Just about half his head. I have to change the screen every time I do this. So. Hmm. Let me see. I can't tell. Uh, hi. Which one are you asking about? Behind, behind uh, the, the man here. Jerry? 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 Behind Jerry. Yeah, behind Jerry. I can hardly see him. I can't tell. I can't it either. All, it almost looks like, is it, was it Don Perkins? It almost looks a little like him, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Oh. But no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to remember during those staff picnics, everybody could come to that stuff. So, you know? I mean, you could, bring your friend, you could bring your friends, everybody. <laughs> 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 begin. There, is another, uh, there is another picture. I don't remember if Jonathan has it in there or not, but it's um, a little better facial view of Don Perkins. Hmm. Huh. All right, nice job. Hmm. Here's Sally. Sally. Sally and John. 
Oh, I see. Yeah. Business. Yeah. There's uh, Ed from yeah. technology. I love it. Yeah, stay. Love it. Love it. That long. <laughs> Pat Long in the right corner, Dennis yeah, Day. That might be Susan Brown with her arms open. Dennis that Day. Like I think, think this that... was bring your child to, mm -hmm. to work day or something of that sort. Was oh, I bet that's Jillian. Yeah, I bet it was. I bet it was. IDs. That's a great concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dennis in the background. Yep, Dennis and the Pat's on the right, the half of her face. Was Helen no. responsible for that bring your child to, to work day? No. no. Helen? I don't know. Was it Jack Snyder? <laughs> <laughs> what are the wires connected to? Up oh, those balloons. Balloon oh, strings. strings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was electronics <laughs> that day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. That yeah. That taking your child to work day was a good day. I'd brought my kids several times. It's great. Oh yeah, we did too. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Nice. Next, pick. next one, John. Oh. oh my! I remember that year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this is. <laughs> I don't know who's on the right, but I don't know who's on the left. A lot of babies Thanks, here. Sally. Yeah. That was another picnic. That must have been the one that we did that had. Roll is the theme. Yes. Um, you had what is the theme? I'm sorry. Was that rock and roll or was that was oh. that we had the Beatles? Sixties. Everyone had hippie costumes. Sixties. Yeah. Yeah, and that looks like um, Alicia, maybe holding Miles in the background. It looks uh -huh. like it does. Yeah. And that <laughs> other gal worked in record. I can't think of her name. Yeah, either. That's a good pick, though. Look at that picture. Does that baby have on a chief's outfit? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who's that? Do you know what his name is? Nope. That could be one of her sons. I don't know. Okay. No, that's not okay. Sally's son. Okay, I've never met either one of her sons, so. The guy looks familiar, but I can't tell who he is. Oh, I don't know. Was he a tech staff? What? Was he a computer tech staff? <laughs> not, that when I, well, not that I recall, but that's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah let's see, a 1997 staff picnic. Uh, same one with Jerry Wosko uh, a couple slides back. Okay. Oh. okay. Wow. Good. Okay, Jonathan, I think we're ready. Oh, my. Oh man! Oh, there you go. Who's the guy in the white socks and white shoes? Who's that? Yeah, with the white hair. <laughs> oh, that's probably gray socks. Oh, is that gray? I'm sorry. That guy on campus. Oh, <laughs> and then Mark, and then Jack Halligan. I think these are finalists in a popularity contest. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good-looking suit, though. What year would this have been? This was. Um, Oh, no. distinguished service. It's like uh, 19, 1992. So these are DS re recipients, right? Isn't it the lobby of Carlson Center? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have to be 93, wouldn't it? 92. The Carlson I, Center was built. Not 90, November 92, I think, is what John. November 92. Bob Pinker. Yes, it is. Yeah, Bob Pinker's in the back on the right and Tom Barnett's on the left. Yep. Right, and Tom Hughes. Mary Rochelle. Tom Barnett with a dark. Dennis George. Yep. The English and science department were represented well in that picture. Yeah. Big people. Nice people. I like it. Yeah. Okay, I think we knew everybody there. We'll go on to the next one. Yeah. Gray socks, are you sure? That was November 92. I don't know if you heard that or not. And the, I just found John's, JR's notes. That staff picnic that we saw was uh, September 97. Oh. September 97. The 20s, 2000. I don't know her. There's Marilyn, Alan. Marilyn Bottrell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who in the hell's that behind her? 
I have no idea. <laughs> what are you doing there, Alan? What, what, what was that? I have no idea. I have a, a cool tie on. I have a pin from the place. Oh, you were well dressed, Alan. And I was dressed up. I have well, it looks pin, like it's in the field in service. But is this a helmet they're trying to hand her? What is that thing? Golf ball? No, I mean. No, somebody's giving like somebody a hug. Ball. I think like it's a like a bowling ball. A retirement. Ball? <laughs> yeah, at least I'm out of focus. <laughs> Nothing new. Nothing new. <laughs> That's right. Nothing new. I'm out of focus. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a good group. Yeah. That's a good group. Marilyn. Marilyn. What, what are you asking, Helen? Who's in the orange on the end next to Dan? Oh. Uh, don't know. Mayor. No, I don't know. Marilyn, Betty Furtwinkler, and um, this is Carlson. Yeah, yeah. Betty Furtwinkler lives in our neighborhood. Oh. <laughs> that was, uh, that picture is from the Police Academy dedication in October 2001, according to yeah. notes JR gave us. Mm -hmm. Cool picture. Cool picture. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we I just don't know who the guy is in the purple jacket behind, but you know who that is? Oh, I'm saying I don't know. Oh, me, <laughs> Casa, and now I have no idea. Susan, Brenda, and Debbie. And we're we're back to the beginning here with the barn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice paint job on it. How long did Susan and Debbie work together, uh, Lori? Do you remember? Oh, 30 plus, 34 years. 37, 37 years. Was it that long? It could be. I think Debbie and I came maybe about the same time, and the, the other two came after. Wow. And why are they taking pictures? Are they just there, or anybody know? No. Nope. nope. Well, I think this one also said it was related to the police academy or uh, dedication. I believe it. It's next to the barn. Yeah. Now, what they're holding is something like that. The blue thing, I don't know what that is. Napkins. Napkins, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's holding is, is hiding in her cup in the right hand side. Mm -hmm. That's Susan. Yeah. Oh, Susan. Debbie. Yeah. This yeah, was Debbie. A... Debbie. <laughs> yeah, Debbie. This was a... Yeah, this was the barn we saw at the first picture. With the paint job. Yep, exactly. Okay, Jonathan, we're ready to go on. Who in the world? Lafayette. Lafayette, uh, just passed away. Yeah. 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 In, um, oh, and... Uh, oh, shoot. Dan. Dan Molly Hemlin? Was. Is that Dan, Lori? Dan Hemlin? Yeah, Hemlin. Yeah. 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 Yes. By the way, two or three weeks ago, I went to the KU okay. basketball game and they had a really nice uh, thing up on the scoreboard for Lafayette. It was, oh, it was nice. really, really oh, touching. So he, he had a big impact at KU too. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good, guy. Persons. <laughs> good guy. He always was nice. Every, every time I saw him, he's really nice. He was a good man. Yep. Great man. Okay. Larry. Oh, <laughs> he looks determined. Yeah. How's he doing? Anybody know? He does not like Washington State weather. <laughs> <laughs> back this way or to North Carolina. Oh, he's still writing, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, still publishing, I think. Good. Yeah. Mm. Post pictures on uh, Facebook from time to time of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm. When I first came to the college, Larry was one of the faculty members that, when I was in student activities, would work with me when we brought in speakers. We were always trying to mm -hmm. coordinate some student activity event with uh, some classes. And so Larry, uh, of course, Matt Campbell was another one that worked with me, too. I think Rick Stein did, too, but I can't remember. I think he was the ornery one of the bunch, but I think he helped a little bit. 
He did the poetry, the poetry slams. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mind's Eye. Yeah, he did. The yeah. Mind. <clears throat> All right. He was always famous for his uh, periodic emails when he was doing a campus poll. And it was like, hey, gang, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and, and last but not least, he liked to run at noontime over in the gym. Yeah. yeah. Good. And you did that every time, didn't you? Every day, didn't you, Phil? Almost every day, yep. Yeah. Let me add one thing about uh, Larry's contributions. I was going to mention this, not knowing we were going to do the photographs, uh, which is fun, uh, but uh, he put together a softball team. Anybody remember it? I played oh, sure. Yeah. The doozies. <laughs> <laughs> Everything with Larry was a doozy. <laughs> we were together for about the final four or five seasons, I think. Who are some of those players, Dick? Can you tell us? Uh, it was it was uh, hims and hers. It was uh, it was a mixed. Uh, we uh, uh, gosh, I really can't. Sonny Maynard was one. Yeah, yep. I really can't remember anybody who played with us right now. It's because I hadn't thought that much about it, but it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It was like I said, it was it was uh, uh, male and female, which made it even even more fun. You know. Yeah. I I got roped into it one oh, time yeah. and I hit the ball. Good and, job, Julia. And some people got a one person got a home run off of it or something. <laughs> I have never been a sportsy person. Oh. <laughs> okay, John, we're ready to go. Yep. Oh, yep. Nice. Yep. John and Susan. John and Susan. Yeah. Yep. Susan Scoble. Ah. Uh. Keeps uh, her, her services on she Facebook. Went? She she keeps her maiden name on Facebook. Wow. I don't think she ever changed. I mean, I've never heard her call Susan Scoble. John isn't smiling at me like that today. Unfortunate. Unfortunately. Why not? Well, he well, he was not reelected. Yeah. Oh no, he wasn't. That's true. That's too bad. Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Margie and Gloria. Gloria. Gloria, <laughs> Gloria happy. <laughs> yeah. Just to let you know, Gloria's uh, husband passed away about six or seven months ago. Oh, okay. oh. It's, un it's unfortunate. Oh. So anyway, and Margie's still there. She's still at the college. Yeah, Margie's going to take a portion of Paul Kyle's. She's going to be a dean for a while. She's going to be a what? A dean until she retires. They kind of split up Paul Kyle's position, did some changing out there. So Margie's taking over um, a good part of it. Good. How long does she have to go? Mm, a little longer than she anticipated originally, but I think two or three years maybe. Good. Good for her. Yes, what was her husband's Kent name? Tyler. Was it Kurt? Kent. 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 Kent Shelley. Okay. Yeah. He's retired. Baseball. Baseball. Yeah. He's retired. Yep. Mm -hmm. Last year. Last year. And he's a member. He's a member of the Retirees Association too. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he joined after COVID, so you know, of course, we haven't seen him. <laughs> if you look back there in the back, and, and this used to be really common, that, that chunk of cheese. Yeah, I don't know if I remember, but they used to have those buffet bars or whatever, and they had that chunk of cheese, and you just go and peel the cheese off yourself. It was one of those yeah. things where you just you could just peel it off and put it on uh, your plate. So it looks to me like that's what that is in the back. So. Food is a big part, of, or was anyway, a big part of our time at the college. <laughs> yeah. 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 This picture was described as a block party luncheon. It was a foundation uh, event. Huh. It's... It, it, they're both happy, I can tell that. There. <laughs> okay, we'll keep it. Good people. We'll keep going. Hey, I got to tell you one little oh, known sure. fact. Laurie's maiden name is Bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're, we're long oh, last right. lost relatives, cousins somewhere back there. Oh, but. oh man. Oh. Oh, fun. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Clean there, man. All right. Yeah, that window was all had a special name. <clears throat> they couldn't call it a window. They called it something else. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That's a cool building. Mm -hmm. Viewing portal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was called something else. Let the light in, let the, let the scenes out or something. Viewing portal, yeah. Okay. Comments? Oh, we want more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any more? Yeah, you know, when we put those pictures together, we were wondering how long it was going to take. And so we can probably right get us, hour now. We can probably get us all back <laughs> together if we want to do that, Jonathan, it's possible. Sure. And uh good job. Thank you. Thanks. Nice job. Yeah. yeah. Certainly you, you can go ahead and share some more memories. Anybody have some other memories that they'd like to share? Of anything while we have the time, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. I have to leave uh, very quickly, but I want to mention one more thing, especially if this happens to be the last time we do this. Um, and I want to bring people's memory to uh, Helen's uh, wonderful uh, uh, master teacher workshop. Uh, where's Helen? <clears throat> I, was in the, I was in the middle of it a few times. Um, and I enjoyed it very much. It was great. it was just a great experience. Good. Thank you, Dick. Good job, Helen. Helen, Helen she to get all the credit for it <laughs> <laughs> or the blame. There are a number of you here that were there yep. at one time or another, and some of you that facilitated. And we also had a great um, counselors retreat, mm -hmm. great yeah. support staff retreat. Mm -hmm. A couple of three of those, I think. Yeah. We pretty much had a retreat every year, basically, in different, different places. Yeah. Do they still do that now? In the spring? Mm -hmm. They, they uh, have they have day retreats, but not overnighters like we used to have. Yeah, oh. they, they retreats in the fall and spring. And Pallet now use the format to, to do uh, uh, workshops in the summer with uh, uh, high school folks. Mm -hmm. Good. You know, Just another thing quick, I quick another, comment for oh, yeah. um, uh, Alan. Yes. That a uh, couple of slides back, uh, that picture of you in the background with Marilyn Botro. Uh -huh. And uh, you said, What am I doing there? That was um, the uh, coffee break they had to celebrate the new gym extension. Okay. So I don't that's, remember. That's the context of that. Yeah. But anyway, I was happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Free food. Chuck Bishop, did you move inside from the outside? Chuck? Yes. I moved in because it was running out of power. Oh, <laughs> oh I yeah. see. Okay. Now I've got to be inside. The lighting isn't very good in here. So, yeah. You know, well, uh, this, this, while this we've got you all here, too, I'm trying to do those Friday flashbacks. And most of my pictures are going to come from student services or um, OPL. So if any of you have ones that you'd like to share, if you shoot them my way, then we'll use them for one of the Friday flashbacks. And if you could tell me who's in them and maybe what about what year they might have been taken. So I would appreciate it. <laughs> you know, one of the things I wanted to mention, too, and I wanted to mention it last time and having Chuck's here, too, but... Uh, this is the great, great job that uh, Carolyn Cadell did at the International Education Office. Uh, mm -hmm. not, not only with the work that she did helping people travel, but just bringing people on our campus that were just wonderful, wonderful people. Yeah. And uh, I just want to, you know, just comment on how, how great a job that Carolyn did putting that all together. And many of us were um, supportive of what she had done and, and had lots of wonderful travels because of her office and the, the people that worked there. And, uh, and she and I advised the International Club for probably close to 15 or 16 years together. And uh, we always had a great time, but uh, I just want to mention that. A lot, of good, a lot of good memories there. Are they still active, still doing things or everything's kind of slowed down with the stuff, disease, do we know? Are you talking the International Education Office, yeah. Alan? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think they probably have slowed down a little bit. Yeah, they've had to slow down to travel restrictions for sure. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Go ahead, Debbie. Debbie, you're on mute. Debbie, you're, you're on mute. I did the travel arrangements with Carol and back when I worked for Mop and Tour in the, in the 80s. So I got to know her voice anyway. 
but I did uh, a lot of the students coming in. Mm -hmm. the, the international organization is now doing a series of presentations via Zoom of people on campus who have lived other places or visited other places. And the one that they did last week had uh, people from Colombia, Canada, and Jamaica <laughs> talking about unique places in their countries. So that's another thing that, I mean, that's how they're keeping some of the energy, I guess, alive for international travel. Is that something that we could tap into, Helen? Oh, well, yeah, I thought one of you sent it to me. I probably did. We'll have to look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to look again. <laughs> I found it on Info Hub. Okay. You know, because it was scheduled, but it's like every, is it Wednesday afternoon? Yeah. Hi, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to mention I was surprised that Bruce uh, Hartman is um, retiring. Oh, really? Good for him. From the Nearman Center, because uh, he, he has done through the years such a wonderful job with acquiring art for the college and creating that uh, art center. So he is retiring. Be interesting to see who they replace him with. Mm -hmm. Be real interesting. 31st yeah. was the last day. Got the letter. Yep. Yeah, he, there's a search for the right person right now. By the way, uh, don't forget Thursday, yes. uh, Libby is going to do a, a talk about uh, Kansas waterfalls. Yay. So, okay. two o'clock. So, <laughs> no? Add it to your schedule. Okay, what else? Anything else? We're about ready to wrap it up. Thank you. Hey, Good thank idea you. to do on a snowy day. Thank you all for coming job, in. Guys. Thanks for meeting with us from Florida, Chuck. Yeah. So, and, uh, we wish we were with you. Yeah. <laughs> thank hey, you. I, I think thank it's you. great. Everybody stay home. I don't care where you're at. Stay home. Yeah, we're Except down if you're in Florida. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Take care. Bye. Good to see you, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.